Hey guys, Break from Zombie here, back with another Minecraft tutorial. Today we are looking at a mod called Advanced Genetics. Basically, what this mod does is allow you to change your DNA to give you the abilities of the different mobs in Minecraft. For example, if you get the DNA of a bat, you can fly, or the DNA of a sheep, you can eat grass. Um, or the DNA of a spider you can climb and so forth now this is a fairly complicated process there's a lot of machinery that is needed um, so it's kind of a mid to late game thing um, but it is well worth the investment there are seven machines that you will need to start off with um, that is these here you will need a DNA analyzer a DNA extractor a decryptor splitter, breeder, combiner, and a centrifuge. Now all of these will need to be powered up and you can pretty much use any uh, type of power um, anything from industrial craft to thermal expansion to mechanism um, which I am using the mechanism solar generators uh, with the universal cable and that is uh, uh, an option I found to be really good it keeps continuous power to the machines so the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, make yourself this little scraper that I'm holding in my hand and the recipe for that is right here it's just two st stone tool rods and an iron ingot and once you have that you're ready to start collecting skin scales which is the base um, ingredient for um, DNA. So to um, show you how that's done I'm going to spawn in a spider here and what you're going to do is you're going to go up to the mob now keep in mind you can pretty much take skin uh, scales off of any mob um, that that's in the game we're going to use an, a spider as an example here um, you're going to go up to them and you're going to right click and when you right click you see it drops these skin scales now obviously I'm in creative so he's not hurting me but if I was in um, survival he would be killing me right now so you need to be careful because um, they will um, get violent so we'll just continue to hit him until we get the uh, amount of scales we need um, you will need a lot of scales I can tell you that now um, so just go ahead, I would suggest you just go ahead and get, get all of them while you're at it. Um, once you get as many as you want, then you can just kill off the mob or whatever. So once you have the skin scales, what you're going to do is come over to the first machine here. It's called the DNA Analyzer. And you're going to put the skin scales in here and let it run its course. Look at that. I got a slime bouncing around on my machinery. Let's see if we can take care of him quick. Without damaging any machines, preferably. So once this is done running, which this one actually can take a while, so um, I think it actually is the slowest of all the machines. So um, once this is done, you take the final product here which is a cell and see this is a cell of a spider and then you're also left with this organic drop which really at this point does not have much use so I would usually just throw them away um, you can make a, a gene removal with them um, but we will not be getting into that in this um, tutorial so we take the cell of a spider that was dropped we come to the next machine which is the DNA extractor and we put the cell in here and this will give us our I'm sorry our first helix of DNA so once this is done what we will be left with is a helix that is encrypted um, as you can see it down there is just a bunch of letters and numbers that don't really tell us what it is so we need to bring that over to the decryptor we put this in a decryptor, let this run, and this will basically tell us um, what kind of gene that we have. Now there are three, um, three types of genes that you can get. Um, you can get a basic gene, 
uh, the ability gene or a mix of both the basic gene and the climb gene or the uh, ability gene. So what we got here was a climb. Um, we well, Now what we'll do with that is bring that over to the DNA splitter and put that in here. Now if you had one that had climb or basic, like I'll use this for example, um, you can choose which one you want. Now I'll explain what the basic genes are used for in a little bit. For now, we're going to put our climb in here and we're going to choose that and let this DNA split. I'm going to go kill off this slime while we're waiting on that because he's getting on my nerves. And change this to daylight. Alright, uh, where are we at here? Okay. Alright, now we have a split gene. So we have our climb gene. Now this is our final gene. And the only thing that's left to do with this is grow this gene. So we put this in the breeder. And as you can see under here, it says breeding state 0 of 16. Now this is where the basic genes come into play. Now what you're going to need to do is start from the very bottom with the skin scales and basically continue until you get 16 basic genes. And you will feed all those basic genes into this climbing gene. And what that will leave you with is a completed climb gene. Now what we will do is take this over to the DNA combiner and we'll put that in there and then we also need to take a sample of our blood to go in there with it so you'll make a syringe and that is made by with three iron a glass bottle and an arrow very simple recipe and you hold it in your hand hold the right mouse button and then let it go and you'll have a syringe full of blood now we'll need to take this syringe, put it in the centrifuge, and let that run. Once we have this centrifuged syringe of blood, we bring that over to the combiner, put that in here, and the gene will combine with the syringe of blood. Once we have these combined, we take the syringe, put it back in the centrifuge, and do this one more time and then we are ready to inject ourselves once again we hold this in our hand hold the right mouse button let it go and we now have spider DNA you will get a little bit of nausea for a little bit so just deal with that what this should do is give us the ability to climb walls or blocks or whatever as you can see I can just walk straight up this wall now. Now one thing to keep in mind is when you die you will lose your current ability. So um, what I like to do is make a backup syringe um, so I can just re-inject myself um, when I respawn and I don't have to go back through the entire process. So to do that basically you just take the syringe and just um, inject yourself like you would um, when you're taking your first blood sample and then you have to put that in a centrifuge and then basically what that is is a backup um, DNA sample that when you when you respawn get the syringe re-inject yourself and you have your ability back and that is the basics of advanced genetics. I really recommend that you get this mod and experiment with it. Some of the abilities that you can get are really cool. Um, for example, um, if you get bat DNA, you can fly as I mentioned earlier. That is a hard gene to make. It does take a lot longer than a lot of the others, um, but it is worth it in the end because it gives you the ability to fly just like you would in creative. Alright guys, I think that's going to be it. Um, I really recommend that you get this mod and check it out. And uh, we will see you next time.